Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm driving a 2017 Ford Raptor SVT. Uh, the guys at Crossroads Ford, specifically Alan Boyd, have been gracious enough to let me borrow this thing for the day. And I gotta say, I've been looking forward to this thing for two days. Um, and, and I love the old generation Raptor. And just looking at the numbers on paper on this truck, it is absolutely amazing. I was a little disappointed that the 6.2 liter wasn't coming back because I love that old school muscle car sound. And when I first started this thing, uh, you know, you know, the 3.5 liter just doesn't sound like an old school V8. And after 10 minutes of driving it, everything that I thought I wouldn't like about having a 3.5 versus the 6.2 has been completely dispelled. Like this one's 450 horsepower, 510 foot-pounds of torque. It's actually up 40 horsepower and 75 foot-pounds of torque on the 6.2 liter. Uh, it's more efficient. It's got a 10-speed transmission. Uh, it makes power at lower RPM, so it's a lot more usable around town. This truck is all aluminum. Of course, the new F-150 is all aluminum, so it's 400 pounds lighter than the last generation truck. Uh, and it's a lot more efficient, 18 MPG, which with 34 inch tall BFG KO2s, 450 horsepower, and a truck that still, even though it's lost 400 pounds, weighs about 5,700 pounds, is an awesome achievement, I think, 18 MPG. And I do love this engine. So, essentially what they've done is replaced the old school muscle car sound with a lot of like, turbo whoosh and turbo boost and all those cool turbo noises you know what i mean and these engines are really tunable so all right let's get this thing out on the road man i'm really kind of interested to see how this 10-speed transmission does uh this 10-speed transmission was actually co-developed uh with gm uh and it seems to work fine around town uh i'm gonna get on this road here and kind of step on it a little bit and see if the numbers feel like the numbers i mean this thing zero to 60 in five seconds quarter mile in 13.7 seconds pretty bonkers considering just a few years back that a Mustang GT was a, you know, five seconds to 60 car. All right, let's do it. Thing's fast for 5,700 pounds, man. I mean, seriously fast. This transmission has six different driving modes. I'm in off-road right now. I should put it in sport. Uh, but there is a really cool Baja mode that I don't know a lot of people will use. But... So I'm driving the crew cab right now. Uh, the color is, uh, it's kind of a, a dark gray white. They call it Avalanche. I absolutely love this color. It's my favorite color. It's got the optional beadlock wheels and it's got an option that's 10,000 bucks. It's a luxury package. Gives you all kinds of stuff. Nav, heated, cooled seats, all that stuff. Uh, I've been told by the Ford guys that 90% of these trucks will have that luxury package on it. But if you don't get that luxury package, these base price at 49 grand, which isn't bad considering you get the Fox shocks, um, they're three inch in diameter versus the last model two and a half inch in diameter. Uh, and respectively, they have 13 inches of travel in the front, 13.9 in the rear, uh, and they ride really nice. So, you know, I got to drive this thing on the guy's farm for a little while and um, they just soak up bumps unbelievably. Uh, handles really well on the street. Acceleration is awesome. Again, zero to 65 seconds, 1364 miles smash on this thing. It's quick. Doesn't sound too bad either. Yeah, I miss the 6.2 noise. Maybe put an exhaust on it. Um, interior quality is nice. Um, everything kind of feels good. I love the steering wheel. It's kind of really sporty, you know. And um, the seats are great. Really comfortable. They have good bolstering. They got the little Raptor embroidery in them. Uh, and I love the new F-150, you know. I love the fact that it lost weight. I love how the door sill kind of does this thing. You know what I mean? because you can kind of hang your arm out the side. It's got a good greenhouse, a lot of glass. This one's got the optional panoramic roof, which is really nice. Uh, and I think the Raptor stands alone in its category because I don't think there's any competition. Like, who's competing with this thing? Toyota's got their TRD Tundra, but it's not the same. Uh, they've got the Tacoma now, which is pretty cool. The TRD Pro's got some Fox stuff on it. And, but still, it's not jumping like this truck. You know, Dodge has the power wagon, but it's not doing the same stuff. And I don't think Chevy has like a, a you know, like an off-road truck like this. So really, it stands alone. This might be the best out-of-the-box four-wheel drive I've ever driven. This might be one of the coolest cars I've ever driven, just in general. I'm not even talking about trucks and cars right now. I'm talking about just cars in general. Um, I love how it's got great road manners. I love the power. 
Um, I love the EcoBoost engine after driving it for a while. You know, I don't miss the 6.2 anymore. I love all the tech in this thing. You can get some usable safety technology too. You can get adaptive cruise control, blind side assist, collision warning. Uh, and that's only a $2,000 package or $1,900 package. Um, so with the base price of 49K, this one I'm driving right here, 70 grand. It does have that 10K luxury package and it is the four door with the panel roof and all that. Uh, but relatively affordable, man. I love this truck. So if you're considering a Raptor, make it out to your local dealer, check it out. That's all I got for you guys today. I'm out. Peace.